Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Red Estate. I considered making this episode just 30 minutes of me sobbing quietly in the background while staring at the stagecoach, but I decided instead we should probably head back down into the dungeon. If that doesn't make much sense, uh, you should totally check out yesterday's episode. I'll wait here, it's fine, you can go do that. In the meantime though, Let's head to our embarkation screen, and I am going to be taking it very easy because I don't think my own stress levels, my own blood pressure, and my own heart could handle another uh, mission like, like yesterday. So I think this short little guy here, this sounds real nice. We've got quite a few characters actually on the brink of level 3, uh, so this should do it for them. I'm thinking these three... And who would we want in the second rank? Love it? Or the third rank? Maybe something like this? Yeah, I don't really have these characters very leveled up, but you know, I kind of feel a little bit low on gold right now. And it's just a short apprentice mission. What could go wrong, he says. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to change a little bit of our tactics here as well. I'm going to do a full stack of food, six torches, two shovels, and that's going to be it. Uh, that is our provisioning for this one. Um, I th feel like I probably over-provisioned quite a bit when I had an excess of gold. I need to maybe get out of that habit to ensure that... Some of these runs are just as profitable as possible. Uh, man, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still getting over the, uh, the losses that we saw yesterday in the, the previous run. But it's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm sure. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. I'm sure everything's gonna go fine. There is no chance of something so terrible occurring again. We did surprise these guys right off the bat, which is quite lovely. Ooh, both connected, both led to bleed. He will actually die, even if we do nothing more to him. But... Confidence oh. surges as the enemy crumbles. Confidence, it's surged. You heard the man. Alright, and with this surprise... Oh man, I was hoping that was a much bigger hit. You know what? Nope, nope. Still gonna debuff me though. Yeah, of course it did. Of course it did. Ugh. Well, I give as good as they get. I'll give them that much. Alright, alright. Slice off. Give them no I only quarter. took one incoming hit. Mm. As the yeah. Falls. A faint hope blossoms. The bleed back here is a, a little bit unfortunate on Love It, but I think uh, we're just going to have to make do for right now. Alright. And never mind. Rock simply must know what is inside there. Alright. Well, that's fine. You check it out. Report back. Let us know what you found. <sighs> okay. Explore 90% of rooms. We're going to be checking out most everything along here. Just sort of popping into the side areas to see what is to see. And then heading right back out. Keep our torchlight high as we can. Because torchlight is, is sacred. <laughs> and without it, terrifying things can happen. Uh, we'll check out the mummified remains. He became diseased, but resisted. Awesome. <sighs> brigands. Alright. I can deal with brigands. Harvest. Double bleed. Lovely. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and Divine Grace here. Say our jester's been through enough. Leaking blood all over this trail. Good, good. Uh, less good. 
Uh, a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Yeah, I would have preferred that not happening. Four to eight, taken two per round. Nice. Um, get rid of him. Just a brigand cutthroat remaining. I can deal with that. I can totally deal with that. Alright, uh, everybody's taking a little bit of damage. Why not? The heal for four, just very spread out. And with another good dodge slash miss, I'm actually going to try to get fairly cheesy here. We'll stun him. He is bleeding. And then we'll just sort of uh, let him die on his own. In the meantime, I can Divine Grace, and then probably do one more heal, and be done with it. Yep, yep, he's, he's just going to bleed out on his own. It's fine. We'll again try for any super lucky criticals on any of the corpses. Unlikely to happen, but hey, you never know. Okay, and another battle ballad, and come on, Vessel. There we go. Ooh, heal for three. All right, so now we are missing one HP total, and the strike. crit that I was looking for, and a little bit of de-stressing. Okay. I'm okay with that. That uh, went totally fine. All right, put pop a torch. Head in. Oh, oh. I will say every time that I say Papa Torch, I, like my brain kind of parses it the same way you might uh, like Papa Smurf. Totally, it's, it's right there. Uh, maybe that's just me though. Okay, double bleed. Good. This guy is human and eldritch, and you know what? With his 33 and a third percent uh, protection there. I actually think the mark is worthwhile for the damage boost we're going to gain from it. Our bounty hunter then should be able to focus on him. While our Hellion deals with this cultist brawler up front. This is the bleed. We have six points of blight damage coming her way though. Alright. Another resist. Good. Uh, less good. Also less good. Eh, yeah, better. Okay. That's that's what you call buff damage? Oh my god. He's human. Oh, I actually don't know if they stack. If if you're collecting bounty on somebody who is both human and marked, do you just gain the better of the two? Huh. I would need Perhaps way more data on that. It kind of seems like that might be the case, though, if uh, I did six with a skill that is supposed to do plus 90%. Ugh. So it would have been like a... I basically rolled a nine... Maybe I just got a five? I guess that would all work out in the math. Ugh. Not exactly amazing damage either way. All right. Bleeding three for three. Oh, speaking of marks, they're coming for us. They are. But I don't think they're ever going to make it. Um, no. Another Divine Comfort. Ooh, crit for seven. That was the greatest thing of all time. I'm again going to waste a little bit of time smashing up corpses, hoping for a critical strike. De-stressing our guys just a little bit. The greater the glory. Yeah, those beasts weren't terribly big. The glory wasn't all that gigantic. But I'm happy to be alive and... Uh, leaving my blood still all over the trail. I think it's 
actually Lovett's strategy. He, uh, he wanted to make sure he didn't lose his way along the old road, so he has decided to just drip a little bit of blood everywhere he goes. That way he could follow the trail back, just in case. It's not exactly a masterful plan. You know, a little short-sighted, but it's all he had. Uh, judgment. Seven's not bad. I can live with seven. And then a harvest. And if she bleeds, she does not bleed. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and finish him. In this case, her. But finish him. And, uh... Okay, good. Good. Couldn't quite keep it up. Ugh, less good. Alright. I'll tell you what. 14 there. Bleed for two. The gesture can easily finish him off. And then... Hmm. We could both use a little bit of Lovin. Get the gesture back up to full. Oh. I'm sorry, love it. I did not mean to forsake you. Okay. Okay. How about a... How about a flashbang? Stun, good. Alright. Bleed for the guaranteed kill. Ah, uh, he'll die. Ah, uh, there's a little bit more damage than I need to do here. Apparently our blade was a little bit more sharpened than uh, I thought it was going to be. But that's fine. That's totally fine. Do a little bit of backtracking through here. We know we've got two empty rooms, actually no fights coming up for a while, and then a room battle, and then we will be done with this dungeon, although we might push on to that last one. If I could get a scout before then, I would feel a lot better about it, or a map. Maps are good. Ooh, ooh, that's like a terrible hallway. It's got a hallway battle followed by a trap. I'm not exactly thrilled by that. Hmm. Oh, another scout. And then an empty room. Yeah, that that hallway doesn't doesn't sound like a thing that I'm all that interested in. Um Hmm. Troubling effigy? No. Fair enough. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption. The only real reason with misintent. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Wayne June. Uh, the only real reason to have gone down there, I guess, would have been for the effigy. And it turned out a little bit underwhelming. But we did bring two shovels. So there's no real reason not to use them, I suppose. Uh, bounty hunter. Already looted. Feh. Feh is right. Can I? That's interesting. I can't use a torch right here. Oh, because I'm out of torches. That's a good reason I can't use a torch right here. All right, fair enough. Well, we will do this one in some uh, dim light. Not the worst fight in the world. The ectoplasms only really get dangerous when they start summoning the big ectoplasms. That's That's when they scare me. Okay, a crit. He is down for the count before even getting started. The Acolyte does get a dodge. Ugh, that's some poor stress. Oh, that's better. Okay. Yeah. Make it through this whole thing, like, barely with anything. And then we're going to run into a ton of stressful incantations here at the end, aren't we? I imagine... That is the case. Meh. Not the the greatest damage in the world. Oh, bleed for three, you are out. Awesome. Eldritch push. Yeah. Didn't really do what you wanted it to there now, did it? Oh, and a beautiful judgment. Hopefully, to end it. Thank you. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Continue for just a second. Um, 
Hmm. You know, I probably will do this one more fight. Uh, also, we've used no food. We could have come down here with literally no food. And things were fine. The torchlight, on the other hand, getting a, a little bit precarious. We did surprise these guys, though. That is quite nice. So, we'll start out doing a lot of damage to the Fusilier, because I don't like him very much. He has a tendency to shoot everybody. Uh, and then you are surprised, which is not the same as stunned. That's kind of silly, by the way, but fine, fine. Go ahead and adrenaline rush. Offset that negative 20% damage that we're taking right now. Slice off. Slice off. Uh, uppercut. Okay. Meh. It's not going to matter. You're about to uh, feel the pain as brought by a Hellion. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it at all. Wicked hack. Wicked indeed. And even Remind more food. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yeah, yeah. Overconfidence, slow and insidious killer. I gotcha. Imbued with energy. They became evasive. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, Photomania is the bright light damage buff, I think. But evasive is good. I, I can totally get behind evasive. Uh, we'll just walk in here for the completionist in me, but I don't think it's actually going to matter one bit. So, that went quite a bit better than the last time. Root reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Although, again, not exactly seeing the greatest of rewards, we did, uh, well, I was gonna say we did okay on... But I mean, eight. We, I mean, we kind of did okay on crest. Mostly, we did okay on leveling up three of our characters, though. Eldritch Slayer, replace robust. Warren's Explorer, resilient. Meh. I'm okay with that. It's not too too bad. I'll reiterate again. I wish I had enough gold. A family name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. I wish I had enough gold to uh, actually lock in some of these positive quirks from time to time. All right, set forth, returned successfully. Level, level, level. Uh, Vapont removed his necromania, and Villain has been spending some time in the gambling hall and is no longer paranoid. Interestingly, she came back from that nightmare with the gambler quirk and will now do nothing but apparently rolling the dice on your life. Will uh, will tend to do that to you. It's kind of like you know, she survived all that. She should come back to town and just buy a lottery ticket, right? Uh, uh, any of the other guys? Twenty three. I'll probably just send them out again without needing to de-stress. Uh, they should be okay. Uh, we've gotten a lot of level three and level four characters again, which is nice. I also may. You know, silver lining time, everybody. Uh, we may have sorted out any question of how are we going to approach the cove when it releases, considering I now have three additional character slots. Uh, the classes I'm going to grab... I could probably use a Vestal to offset Mandeville. Pious and unrelenting. So we could welcome Dudley to the crew. I actually really, really liked the Wine Women song party composition, and I may try to do that again. That could be pretty cool. Uh, so that would mean needing a second grave robber in Oman. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. And then probably another highwayman. Um, as we have been down to just one after the loss of Dismas. So yeah, uh, we'll pick up those. We'll, we'll probably wait and look for another Highwayman and then uh, go from there on, on getting those guys up and running uh, for the Cove's release in a little less than two weeks now.
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little bit less stressful, a little bit more mellow this time. But uh, fun and the same. Nonetheless, all the same. One of those sayings mixed together in there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.